Hello, it's Kanisha. I'm back with another video. As you can see, I found my tripod. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, this is actually pretty sad because I wasn't eavesdropping, but I heard a conversation that resulted in someone like crying, and it was so sad because I was like, man, that's horrible. So, I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's not my business. <laughs> But I did want to talk about something that necessarily was not my business either, but I had a comment on it. And I just think about, and this goes in hand in hand with what I'm talking about, the reason why I said it was so sad, consequences. And we oftentimes forget that there will be consequences for every choice we decide to make, whether that's good or bad. And so we have to make sure that we go in with the right intentions to actually do the right thing. And not saying that that won't sometimes cause bad things to happen. However, when we intentionally go in with a motive that we know is bad, you can almost um, be assured that something bad or a consequence will follow that. And so I was talking to an individual and they were telling me about something, an activity that they were going to do. And I was just like, well, why are you going to do that? And they were like, well, because I want to. And I was like, well, of course, yeah, we have freedom of choice. However, we do not have freedom of consequences. So uh, just know that you're inviting the devil in. And when you do that, just know he's not a gentleman. He's not going to say, oh, okay, they only let me in this much, so I'm going to do that. You, we know the saying, you know, give them an inch, they take a mile. And that's just exactly how the devil does. And not to say he'll take a mile, he'll take 300,000 miles, whatever, because that's just how he is. He's sneaky and crafty. He does things the same way all the time, uh, but he will also be like crafty. So you think like, oh, I can do this and kind of get away with this and think that there will not be consequences. And like I said, just going back to kind of that individual that I heard that they were crying, like I know some of the choices that they made actually went into a consequence that they were now crying about. And this is just for us to take a look at our own life and say, what am I doing to actually cause bad consequences to happen in my life? Because we can all play the victim card when things happen and we are not happy with the results. But it's just like, what role did I play in that happening? Did I do something to actually let that door be open? And most of the time it is. Most of the time when we really sit down and think about it, it's like, oh yeah, I did do something that might have had that to happen and we have to take ownership of it move forward and learn from it so it's not considered a loss if you learn from it. i heard that from somebody i was like oh i like that so it's not considered a loss if you learn so we have to learn in every situation and realize that we also play a part and that there will be consequences for our actions whether we see it now or see it years from now so i hope this encourages you but also makes you uh move with intention in the way that you live your life because that's what it's all about uh, us taking a look at ourselves and just becoming better people i hope uh you enjoy this video and like i always say until next time bye